Hi, this is Toby from tvfinder.com and today we would like to take a closer look at the LG OLED EVO C2 which we reviewed for you. To be precise, our tests refer to a 65-inch C27LA. Apart from a few mostly minor differences, our results also apply for other C2 variants. For those of you who want to know more about the different C2 variants, we have linked a video about them on the info card and the video description. LG added a small boost to its new models from what is probably the most popular series in the portfolio with the OLED EVO panel. Although this is nothing new by now, it adds one benefit, increased luminance. Therefore, the LG OLED EVO C2 should be able to close the gap to its bigger brother from last year, the LG OLED EVO G1, at least in terms of brightness. Our review shows where the current OLED from the C-series ranks. In terms of design and workmanship, LG is once again on the cutting edge. The C2 has a modern design and the silver side bezel almost completely disappears. Unlike the Gallery G2, all important components are, as usual, located above the stand on the back. This means that you cannot mount the C2 completely flush to the wall. Regardless, you can mount the C2 on a suitable spot on the wall in your living room if you like. Compared to the former generation, the stand is much smaller and thus offers less stability for our review model. Strong wobbling is likely to occur. However, you only notice this when you really bump into the TV. There are some differences between the sizes regarding the stand, which we will discuss later in the video. An additional issue is the comparatively low high from the surface to the bottom edge of the TV. This is especially important if you want to place a sound bar in front of the TV. Compared to the predecessor, LG has redesigned the back and now offers a metal look. The parts are hidden by a plastic cover and the cable clips on the back provide a good cable management. As already mentioned, the C2 comes with the OLED EVO panel at 120Hz and 10-bit color depth. If we compare the C2 to the rest of the 2022 OLED lineup, we noticed that the more expensive LG OLED G2 also comes with a heatsink, while the cheaper B2 has to do without the EVO panel. As you would expect from an OLED TV, the C2 also has a theoretically infinite contrast and therefore an excellent black level. This ensures an outstanding contrast behavior and brilliant pictures that are to be beaten and really make a difference, especially in dark rooms. HDR content in particular benefits from this. The panel impresses even from particularly wide angles and hardly losses any of its display quality. However, we did not expect anything else from the C2 at this point. So nothing prevents long movie nights in larger groups at this point. In terms of brightness, the OLED TV has to submit to the brighter competition of LED LCD TVs and is somewhat outshone by corresponding top models. This could also be a significant reason for you to avoid buying an OLED. Because the self-luminous pixels, as the term already says, generate light on their own, the C2 does not need any backlight. Although it loses some of the brightness, it does not suffer from the unattractive blooming effect that can occur on LED LCD TVs and dark scenes. At this point, we would also like to point out once again that, for example, twice the brightness of a TV is not perceived as twice as bright. A logarithmic scale would describe the perceived brightness a bit better here. To put it simply, it takes 10 times the luminance to be twice as bright. For example, here you can see the C2 versus the Samsung Neo QLED QN95B, which is roughly twice as bright. Of course, the image is affected by the camera and your screen. Although the QN95B was brighter in person under the same conditions, but it was by no means twice as bright. Thus, the C2's luminance performance is definitely sufficient to display the picture well, even in a lot of ambient light. However, this can look different in direct light since the screen is very glossy. Reflections remain within a manageable range, even on sunny days, but they are clearly visible. In our test, with our studio lights turned up all the way, you can clearly see that reflections are visible and more noticeable than in comparable LCD models. That could also be a significant reason for you not to buy the OLED. 
But if you have a curtain or buy one for this reason, you can easily eliminate this shortcoming and enjoy your movies, series, games or sport shows without any distractions. In terms of uniformity, the C2 is as convincing as its predecessors. We only find slight uneven grey tones on our test device. Enough performance for image optimization is provided by the 5th generation Alpha 9 processor. Besides its own HDR10 Pro feature and HLG, the C2 also supports Cinema HDR with Dolby Vision EQ. This means that the TV can automatically provide a dynamic image in different lighting conditions. A negative aspect is the relatively aggressive automatic brightness limiter, which intervenes strongly in large bright scenes. This is especially visible while watching sports, since it reduces the brightness of the TV to protect the organic LEDs. Here you can see the direct comparison before and after the automatic brightness limiter dimmed the intensity. However, this is an extreme example and is much less noticeable in real content. And as expected, the C2 did not surprise us with a glance at the blooming and therefore does not show any blooming effect at all, since it is an OLED. Sport fans and gamers who love action-packed entertainment will enjoy the motion display to the fullest. The 120Hz panel of the C2 displays fast movements smoothly. If you do stumble over so-called starters, you can activate the interpolation. This enables a smooth display without annoying starters. However, content with slow camera movements is not displayed as well in our experience. Therefore, starters could be the case here and there. Furthermore, you run the risk of being confronted with the soap opera effect when the calculation of the intermediate frames is enabled. That gives the impression of people and objects being separated from the background in an unusual way. Not everyone will like this visual impression. However, you don't have to worry about Jadder. The C2 eliminates it from any content without any problems. You also don't have to worry about blurred images on this CV. This means you always have a clear and good view of what's going on. Of course, the low response time of 1.5 milliseconds contributes to this significantly. You can hardly ask for a better gaming TV than the LG OLED EVO C2. Like its predecessors from the C-Series, the model from the 2032 lineup is very suitable for extensive gaming sessions. Whether Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5 or Nintendo Switch, you can connect your consoles via the four HDMI 2.1 interfaces on the back and enjoy them to their full potential. The extremely low input lag of about 5 milliseconds gaming mode allows your inputs to reach the screen in no time, providing you with a fast and responsive gaming experience. The C2 also features an auto low latency mode and variable refresh rate. Furthermore, G-Sync compatibility and AMD FreeSync Premium certification are available. The so-called screen tiering should be a thing of the past for you. Furthermore, owners of the Xbox Series X can once again look forward to Dolby Vision Gaming. To round off the feature set in the gaming sector, add 4K at 120Hz on top. Flat TV and the unsatisfying TV sound is a never-ending story, which still goes on in the same direction as the years before. Although the 2.2 sound system with a total of 40 watts provides enough sound for most circumstances, you should definitely consider buying a soundbar for more. As so often, the bass is once again the main problem. Due to the slim shape and the missing resonance, low frequencies simply cannot be reproduced with enough punch by the C2. We would recommend using a soundbar or a suitable home theater system anyway, especially in this price range to take a full advantage of all the sound features of the C2, such as Dolby Atmos and eARC. If you are still looking for the right soundbar, take a look at our soundbar finder. You will find a link in the description box. And whether you use a soundbar or not, you will unfortunately have to do without DTS in the C-Series. Not too much has changed in terms of other features on the C2. The name of the operating system, WebOS 6.0, has been adapted to the current year and is now called WebOS 22. With this build, LG introduces personal user profiles for the first time. 
You can now set up your own recommendations for content and favorites and switch back and forth between the individual profiles via the interface, which we think is really cool. In addition, you now have the option to use the so-called hands-free voice control. This means that you no longer have to look for your remote control, but can directly talk to the LG ThinQIE of the TV. This is also supposed to improve constantly thanks to deep learning. If you prefer to use Alexa or Google Assistant, you can do that as well. In addition, the Magic Remote allows you to navigate through the menu structure and the large app selection in the usual way. This is done easily using buttons or by pointing at the screen, just like with Nintendo's Wii Remote in the past. Not only are the most important streaming providers united beneath one TV roof on the remote control and home screen, but also numerous additional apps. The C2 also features a twin triple tuner for easy program captures, a recording function via USB, and the two Apple functions AirPlay and HomeKit. At this point, we will give you a short and crisp overview of the most important differences between LG's OLED C2 and its lineup colleagues. Starting with the A2 and its 60Hz panel, you already get a good OLED TV for a comparatively low price if you are willing to miss out on a refresh rate of 120Hz. However, you will get this feature in the slightly more expensive B2. HDMI 2.1 is also available then. The C2 expands the benchmark in terms of brightness with its EVO panel and uses the latest 5th generation A9 processor. The G2 has a heat sink that makes the display even brighter while cooling down the sensitive OLED pixels and an almost frameless gallery design for gapless wall mounting. Accordingly, the G2 is actually the most expensive model in this group, which means that the higher the number of the features you want, the higher the price you pay. Many people will also be interested in how the C2 performs against its predecessor, the C1. Of course, there's the OLED EVO panel which only the C2 has and which also makes it a little brighter than the C1. In other words, it has a slightly better SDR and HDR picture quality and can highlight small, bright details better. Another new feature is the possibility to operate the TV without a remote control via the so-called hands-free voice control. Additionally, you can create user profiles and adjust the TV to each family of flatmate only between us. If you already own the C1, the upgrade to the C2 is not worth it in our opinion. Before calibration, the presented image of the LG C2 OLED was already quite accurate in terms of the brightness level precision. Only very bright tones had a slight red cast. Colors, on the other hand, were not reproduced quite as precisely. The result was rather average here but should satisfy most users after a few tweaks in the picture settings. The result looked completely different after the calibration. The reproduction of both colors and grayscale is very precise, so that even the most critical users among us will not notice any errors with the bare eye. The C2 has different stands depending on the inch size. The 55, 65 and 77 inch models all have the narrow center stand. The smaller size, the 42 inch, has two single widely spaced feet, while the 48 and 83 inch sizes have the wide stand from last year. Apart from that, the so-called brightness booster will only be available for the 55 inch model and up. According to LG, this feature increases the panel's brightness by an additional 20%. If you are looking for a smaller size, you will have to do without it due to the increased heat output and the higher pixel density. The upgrade to the OLED EVO panel gives the C2 an even brighter appearance. The higher luminance has a significant impact on the display, especially when watching HDR content and is particularly noticeable in brighter ambient light. Unsurprisingly, the LG OLED EVO C2 also convinces us with its numerous gaming features. With 4K at 120 frames per second and the four full-fledged HDMI 2.1 ports with all the features you could ask for, 
This year's C-Series once again offers the perfect gaming experience using a console. Only the automatic brightness limiter has to be mentioned as a negative aspect here, and if you always look at the TV in a very bright environment, it might be worth taking a look at the LED LCD competition. Thus, LG's OLED EVO C2 is once again an extremely capable all-around OLED for almost any application, offering you a great overall experience. Use the link in the description to get more information and our current price comparison. What do you think of the LG OLED EVO C2? Is the OLED already an option for you? Or are you more interested in buying TVs from Samsung, Sony and others? We are interested to read your opinion in the comments.